Hey guys, it's Charlie. I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video. I'm going to answer all your questions that you guys have been leaving for me. You've left me some really awesome questions and so many as well. I wasn't expecting to get so many questions. Um, and I like it. I really love answering all your questions. Um, and also it's nice to have questions that aren't just about books. Because obviously, oops, um, obviously this channel is kind of it is solely based around books, but it is nice to kind of talk about other stuff so that you guys can get to know me a little bit better. So yeah, um, I think I've got about 21 questions. Um, and then right at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a couple of books that I have just received through the post that I'm so excited about. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get straight on in with it. The first question is, what books have you read that you really didn't like whatsoever? Now, I'm I'm quite lucky with books. I haven't read many books in my life that I really haven't liked. Um, I've read books that I've kind of been like, mm, it's okay. But I've never read books I've thought, like, I've hardly ever read books I thought I really didn't like that. Um, but the couple that I can think of would be... Um, Horns by Joe Hill, which is about this guy who his girlfriend is raped and murdered, and he wakes up one day after going out drinking, and he's got this these horns on his head, and he can hear people's deepest desires and wishes and things they want to do, and he and things they've done as well, and he basically sets out using this power to find who murdered and raped his girlfriend. Now, it sounds like a really cool concept for a book, and I was really excited when I picked it up because I do like Joe Hill. Um, I loved Heart Shaped Box. That's one of my favourite, favourite books. And um, But when I read this, I was really disappointed. It just, like, it wasn't what I was expecting. I just, I really didn't like it at all. Um, so, yeah, I was really disappointed by that book. And also... One that I did a review on quite recently, which was Possessed by Gretchen McNeil. Again, because I'd heard so much good stuff about this book, and I was expecting so much from it, but again, it was a book that I didn't feel, for me, personally delivered. So, I guess that would be my biggest two disappointments. Um, yeah, I can't think of any others that I've read and, like, really not liked. I've, as I say, I'm usually quite lucky with books. I tend to, I tend to quite like a lot of the books that I read. So yeah, the next one is what is your favourite and least favourite subject at school? Well, I'm not at school now. As you know, I just turned twenty two. I finished school years ago now. Um, but when I was at school, my favourite subject was probably I liked history because I just found that really really interesting, and I liked drama. Um, and I loved English as well. I, I love writing stories and poetry. And so, yeah, one of those three. And my least favourite subject would probably have been... We did Russian and I hated Russian because it was so complicated. Um, and also I would say... I'd probably say PE. Now, not because I don't like PE, because I like sport and I've always played football and like run a lot and stuff like that but the reason being is that I think PE teachers personally I think they always think they're great and if you're not good at a certain sport they kind of talk to you like you're stupid or something or at least they did in my school um, so I just felt like unless you were good at every sport like you were kind of seen as almost like the underdog so I didn't really like that so yeah that would be my least favourite one uh, the next one is, what are the three things on your bucket list? Oh my god. Oh, I've never really thought about a bucket list, to be honest. I guess it would be to go to New York, to go to Hong Kong, and... <clears throat> what would another one be? And also... I don't know, only those two, like those two places, like they're on my bucket list, I've always wanted to go to, um, to them, but obviously suffering panic attacks and my anxiety, it doesn't allow me to go very far from home, 
so I've I've only I've been a, like abroad. I've been to like Portugal and Spain and all that sort of stuff. Like before I got ill, but um, I just at the moment my condition, the state of my brain wouldn't allow me to go to those places yet. But hopefully one day they will be able to. So the next one is what is the most awesome yet scariest thing you've ever done? Um, the most sorry my bum was falling asleep um most awesome yet scary thing i'd done i went on a trip with my old youth group to wales and we climbed and abseiled up and down a 50 foot mountain that was pretty scary but it was awesome when you stood at the top and you looked down and you just it kind of made you think how small you are in this big world when you looked down it was just that was incredible but it was scary <laughs> Um, so yeah, the next one is coffee or smoothies. I don't particularly like either, um, but I would probably say coffee, I guess. Um, yeah, the next one is who do you live with? I live with my mum and dad. Um, obviously, people are probably thinking you're 22, like, why haven't you moved out yet? But obviously, again, coming back to my illness, um, when I'm having really bad days, I find it hard to be alone. So right now, living with my parents just kind of makes that a little bit easier on me. But again, that's something I'm hoping to overcome in the future. The next one is, have you been to America? Would you like to visit? I haven't been to America, but I would absolutely love to come. As I said, I'd love to go to New York and LA. Um, my sister's been. My sister is a um, fashion designer. And so she goes like all over the world. And I would just, I would love to go when my... When I get better, I would definitely love to go. And I would love, as well, to, like, meet some of my American subbies. Like, out there, that would be, like, awesome, that would be. So, yeah. Um, what is your favourite YA fiction series? Um, probably... Um, the Anna Dressed in Blood series, I guess. Um... You guys know how much I love that series, so you probably knew that that was coming. But yeah, that would be my favourite one. Um, the next one is, if you could only read one author for the rest of forever, who would it be? Oh, that is really difficult. There are so many amazing authors out there. But for me, it would probably have to be with my love of horror. It would have to be Stephen King, because he's written some incredible books, which I'll be talking about more in my... Um, October videos but he's made some incredible books and I just don't think you can ever get bored with him so Stephen King uh, favourite type of video to record hauls I love recording hauls because it means I've got loads of cool books and yeah just because it means I've got cool books so hauls what non book related YouTubers do you like to watch I do like to watch um, some fashion videos I particularly like Sammy from Beauty Crush she's amazing um, Kate from Kate This Is What I Do amazing um, Gracie from Ugly Face of Beauty she's amazing as well I'll try and put some of the links to these down below um, there's some really oh, uh, Leanne Woodfall from Thunder and Threads she's amazing as well um, so yeah I like to watch quite a lot of fashion ones So, uh, what is your favourite genre horror, don't have to answer that one favourite author Stephen King Favourite book this year? Um, Anna Dressed in Blood slash Girl of Nightmares. My favourite books ever. Um, yeah. Any hobbies outside YouTube? Yeah, I love to... I was going to say read, but that's quite clear. Um, writing. Um, I like to keep fit. I like to... <laughs> I like to, I love music, um, I love to sing and stuff like that, um, yeah, that's the main things really. Are there any books that you, that have been turned into movies that you prefer to the books? Um, there's one, and that is The Lovely Bones. I preferred the movie of Lovely Bones to the book, just because I found the book a bit confusing, so yeah, The Lovely Bones. Favourite female male character? Um, I mentioned in my, oh dear, what was it called? Um, <laughs> uh, Jasper Jones, my Jasper Jones review. There was a character in that called Jeffrey, and I loved him. He was so funny. And I loved Cass in, um, 
Anna Dressed in Blood, and I loved um, Mara in On Becoming of Mara Dyer. So yeah, they're my favourite characters. A character you think you'd be friends with if you met, I think Cass from um, Anna Dressed in Blood, because yeah, he hunts ghosts. I love to hunt ghosts. So yeah, definitely him. Are you a good dancer? Um, I have rhythm. I think I have rhythm. Um, I wouldn't say I'm like an amazing dancer, but I wouldn't say like I'm really bad either. I did um, body. Uh, I did um, street dance. Sorry, at school, um, which I really enjoyed, and I think I was quite good at that. I don't know. I have, maybe have to do a dancing video, and you guys can judge for me. Don't worry, I'm only kidding. <laughs> um, if you had a unicorn, what would you name it? Uh, uni. Uni the unicorn. I think it's pretty cool. Um, what's your favourite candy? I like anything sour. I love sour stuff. I love like fizzy laces and um, like really sour sweets. So anything sour. If you could go anywhere, where would you go? As I said, New York, LA, Hong Kong, all those sorts of places. Um, yeah. The last question is, what book world would you live in? I would live in um, probably um, Chris Colfer's The Land of Stories in that world with all the different fairy tale characters because I just love that magical, mystical world. So yeah, that would probably be that. Or Narnia. Narnia sounds pretty cool too. Um, yeah, so that is my answers um i hope you enjoyed this again thank you for all your questions i love answering your questions um just quickly i'm just going to show you a couple of books that came through the post this morning so the first one is as dead as it gets by katie allender which is the third book in the bad girls don't die series if i just show you the cover and then it looks like this and like this Ooh, you can see a girl sitting on the back there. I never noticed that before. Um, and it just looks like this on the inside. Um, I showed you in my What Should I Read Next video, my last one, uh, the first book in this series, which is Bad Girls Don't Die. And I'm going to be reading that next, I think. Um, just because I don't think I can wait any longer to read it. Um, yeah, so this is the third book. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to read this. And then the next one I got... I'm so excited. It is Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I am so in love. I cannot wait to read this book. I was a bit apprehensive at first because I don't like books that involve people dying, like of diseases and stuff like that, because I get really sad and I'm I'm a worrier and a thinker and I think a lot on things. And so I get very apprehensive about reading things like this. But every single person that I've heard talk about this book, the one thing they've mentioned is how funny it is. And so if it's got that contrast of being sad, because I know it is going to be sad, it's a dark subject matter, but also of being funny, um, I think that's going to make it a really good book and a bit easier to read than one that is just talking about somebody that's going to be dying. Um, a bit like The 49 Stars by John Green, I haven't read that yet. I bought that, but I haven't been able to read it yet because I was too worried that it was going to be like really sad and yeah but um people keep telling me to read it so I'm gonna bite the bullet and I'm gonna read it so yeah um that is me oh and the dying girl and then inside it just looks like this it's got like oops lime green kind of writing on it um and like it's got this kind of type font in some of it um and I also like the way the um, chapters kind of are, the headers of the chapters, I really like that as well. Um, so yeah, that is the two books I got. That's your questions answered. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.